Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today I have some guests here. Three young students from the Technical University of Munich. I'm Tobias. I'm Ben. And I'm Patrick. I understand these guys have something for me. Let's have a look. Ah. Hmm. Pretty nice. My kind of X. I understand this is the logo of your university. Yes, this right? is the logo of our university. Uh, that's the reason why it is a Tum Ahok, technically University Munich Ahok. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Tum Ahok. That's the reason why we took this. And this has thing. been cut out with a, with a uh, water cutter yes, or something? Yes, a water jet. Uh, and then you sharpened it? We sharpened it. It's very sharp. Okay, that looks pretty cool, but I guess you guys have put something inside. We've got okay. a slingshot in it. Well, you can turn it around and put the cap off and there are two magnets in it. So we can take this out and there we have got one of the slingshots. Hmm, looks like a gun. Here you can see four aluminum tubes and one of them is actually a fire magnesium starter. Magnesium fire starter. <laughs> a magnesium fire starter. <laughs> ah, and so the other tubes here are the actual arrows? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. And as you can see, the front is uh, made out of steel. So it's heavy, front heavy. This means they're going to fly very straight, like a crossbow bolt. So in this here, ah, that's the rubber. So you got your rubber bands in here. And this is this is a, a barrel, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, very smooth. So you take the bolt, put it in the muzzle, and then you can hold it like this and stretch out and then fire. Hmm, looks like a charm. That's a fine shooter. I guess with poisoned arrows, you can really use this for hunting. Any more secret specials? Yes, one more we have got. Okay, okay. you could uh, uh, make, make water filtration with one of these arrows. Uh, thank you. There's a hole in it. It's not for fun. It is for drinking water out of uh, anything you want. You can push it into the toilet and then... Well, I tell you what, if you drink out of my toilet with that thing, you'll be famous in no time. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the axe in itself. You have the arrow shooter, you have the filter system, and you have the fire starter. Yeah. That's a very terrible survival tool. Oh yeah. It's for everybody who wants to be in the nature and everybody who wants to survive in the nature. It's okay. the best thing you could use in the nature. Can I now have it to destroy something, Sudo? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> All right. So let me see what's inside. Okay. Ah, okay. So the rubber is guided. Huh. That's a nice piece of workmanship. Of course, I guess you have reserved this for some additional features, but otherwise I'd recommend shifting the entire mechanics all the way to the muzzle, because then you'd have more um, pretension. Mm -hmm. That's the next thing uh, we have to design. Uh, we could make uh, one gripper on it to hold it very tight or we can use it for more rubber. We have to think about it. What more rubber. <laughs> more power. <laughs> more There's, power. You, oh, don't oh. Need, you don't need a, a, a handle. I mean it seems like you can hold this just fine. I think that's a really good job that you've done here. you got talent. Of course next time you come I expect you to bring something about three times bigger and 15 <laughs> times more powerful. <laughs> <At least. laughs> but I think they've really done a good job. Anyway, I hope you liked it. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs> Tobias is the little lover boy of my niece Julia and he asked me for some help. So here are some pictures of the two of them. Thank you.